This is an example of a case you're not going to see very often here in the United States. Uh, this is an example of a Burkitt lymphoma. And we start off at low power again, where you can see that, again, throughout this entire field, there's no normal lymph node tissue. What you have instead is a sheet of lymphocytes with these punched out areas. Now this is what we call the starry sky pattern. So all of these punched out areas are histiocytes that are in this uh, tumor trying to eat up all the cells that are dying because this cell has a very high proliferative rate and cells are commonly dying all throughout this tumor. And so if we go to high power to take a look, what you'll see is that the cells that make this tumor up are very monomorphic, meaning that they all look the same from cell to cell. And scattered throughout, and these are the little areas that look like the starry sky pattern at night, you have histiocytes. And within those histiocytes, you have little fragments of cells. So these histiocytes are in this cell, gobbling up all of these uh, malignant cells that are dying. So there's two types of Burkitt lymphoma. Uh, there's endemic and sporadic, and the endemic variant happens uh, mainly in Africa. It's uh, commonly shown as a jaw lesion. Uh, those are almost always associated with EBV infection, whereas only about 20% of the sporadic ones are associated with EBV. Most of these tumors do have that 814 MIC IGH translocation, uh, which is a very helpful molecular feature to use when we try to diagnose these. So in summary, this is an example of a sporadic Burkitt lymphoma with a very nice starry sky pattern that you can see at low power.